So this is the current situation. I can't, this road is so narrow, and I'm about to fall in the ditch. I can't get the fifth wheel swung in there without me ending up in the ditch. So I've got to try something different. I don't know what I'm going to try yet. Well, good morning. So today is kind of moving day. For the past uh, three days, we have been staying here at Stony Fork Campground. It's a U.S. National Forest in uh, Western Virginia. When we got this site, it was already reserved for Labor Day weekend, but there's another one in the same park. So we are going to move from this one to the other one. And the reason why we chose this one and not the other one to begin with was because this one has water and electric. The one we are going to has nothing. So we're basically gonna be boondocking, which is fine. We're, we can do that for a few days. So I've got to hook up everything up. Got to get us fresh water. Uh, we're going to go into town today, get some gas for the generator. We're also going to go to a tower today at the very top of this mountain that we are kind of tucked down underneath. You got to get a little creative with the foot whenever you're trying to get these <laughs> jacks up. And there's only like two sites left in this campground that we can fit into. Today is Thursday and people are gonna start, people have already started coming into this place all week. Um, but there's only a few sites left that we can fit into. So it's like eight o'clock. We are getting around trying to make sure that we get our site. We're, we're gonna go take some chairs over there and just kind of set them up in the, in the, uh, the road there to kind of hold them. Uh, because they on they are non-reservable sites. So this is the site we're gonna try to get. Again, no electric, no water here. <laughs> I just came down, threw up a couple chairs, and we're gonna go move it around. And hopefully, by the time we get here, my chairs won't be gone. So one thing I'm absolutely loving about this life is the people. This campground's pretty full but it doesn't matter. Like anytime you go past the campsite, people are waving, they're friendly, they'll talk to you. Uh, the guy just right down here beside us, he asked if we were leaving today. I told him no, we're just moving down the road. And he said, well, if you need anything at all, he said, I got a battery. Cause I told him we was gonna be boondocking. He said, I got a battery charger or all these other things that he offered. So it's just very nice to go into this lifestyle especially when you're not, you don't really know what to expect, uh, how you're going to be welcomed into it, especially being a young family. But uh, so far we are really liking it and everybody's super friendly and super nice. Stony Fork dump station, actually you can use it even if you are not a camper here. You just pay a $2 fee which uh, is great. I'll probably have to go on Campendium or Allstays and let this be known. This is just like two miles, three miles off of Interstate 77 in the western part of Virginia. So this is something that I think people probably would like to know about because there's hardly any dump stations that I've seen along this route because whenever we was coming from uh, Kentucky through West Virginia, we boondocked and I was looking for a dump station I couldn't find one until we got to actually to our next campground. Uh, but anyway, two bucks. I think it's a good Daddy deal. Daddy doing? Um, dumping the poop. Dumping the poop. <laughs> he just looked out the window and he said, Daddy, are you dumping the poop? And I said, yep, I'm dumping the poop. This is probably my least favorite thing to do. I would say that out of 100% of campers or full-time people would probably say that, but it has to be done. It has to be done. So. You just have to put on your rubber gloves, man up, and do it. Is he asleep? Yes. All right, so. We made it to our new site. <laughs> you don't have to, he's okay. fourth kid. Made it to our new site. <laughs> Camping chairs didn't go anywhere. And it's a nice, big, wide site. And it's deep, too. I think There's it'd be, already firewood. And it'd be great for us. It'd be yep. good for us, so. All right, now we just gotta move the chairs and back this big rig up. So this is the current situation. I can't, this road is so narrow and I'm about to fall in the ditch. I can't get 
the fifth wheel swung in there without me ending up in the ditch. So I've got to try something different. I don't know what I'm gonna try yet. Great news, we made it in. I didn't think we would, Lane didn't think we would. A very nice neighbor from right up the road came down and helped me out, but uh, I don't know if you can see, but this road is just, well, it's not really, the road's pretty narrow. And I had to, I had to basically get over as far as I could here. And then I had to pull up as far as I could in the ditch here. And then even whenever I was swinging it, my front tires was, was coming down into this. In fact, I don't know if you can see that spot right there, but I was getting well off into that. But we fit, I like this site a little bit better than our previous one. Sorry if the diesel truck's still running and can't hear me very well, but nice big and wide site. Our other one was very narrow. And then we got a much bigger area back there. Now it's just the fun part and getting everything unhooked again. Slides back out. And that's about it since we're boondocking. Slides are coming out. Okay, tell me this story. Okay, when we walked in, when we walked in, when we got the shower, we got to take a shower. It's okay. And then, and then we screamed in front of me and we didn't know I was there. We saw a spider this big around, huge, and it had a sack of baby things attached oh. to it. the adventures of camp showers so now it's the boys and i's turn to go take a shower and hopefully we don't have any encounters with giant spiders. i'm not gonna go take a shower yeah you oh, are no, I'm not. yeah you are So we are at Big Walker Lookout. It's so cute. And I found this, I just Googled attractions from our uh, place where we're staying at Stony Fork exactly. Campground. And this place was like, I, I don't know, 10 minutes there. away. Oh yeah, a beautiful and, drive too. Oh, awesome drive. Once you get up here, I mean, you're just, you're on top of the mountain. You can look over this way. And then we haven't walked over there yet. But then you can walk over there and go look out over there. So we are just at this kind of like divide and it's just really neat. They got a little country store, which I heard has ice cream. I'm hoping that that was correct. Yeah, because we promised it. And then they got this giant old tower, which I'm assuming I no longer available to climb up. See we'll find out. Yeah, back here. But this is pretty cool. I'm kind of excited about ice cream. Okay, so I found out it's a paid admission, $6 per adult four dollars per child to climb to the top so we will probably pass that up just because I don't see us climbing that so this place is kind of like a little uh, antique store flea market they have these like little booths and I'm sure that the locals have just made all kinds of different crafts and brought them in here to sell. There's pretty much anything in here that you want. It's just a really neat little country store. Dad, what we is, got a bunch of choices Dad, what to pick is that? from. Daddy, what? All kinds of ice cream. Oh, you show me, Jason? Yeah. 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 What do you think about their ice cream? It's delicious. It's, I promise I think it's the best ice cream I ever had. 
and like, it comes. It's better than Andy's guys. It's like a local place. They said I don't remember what they said. From a local farm, dairy farm in Virginia, one hundred percent all natural. Yeah. Delicious. Make their ice cream anyway. They buy it from you them. Need to come yeah. Was, the butter pecan, the lemon, and what's this? Pomegranate, blueberry pomegranate. I think. Uh, I think that I think you got the raspberry, something raspberry. Oh, okay, never mind. But just anyways, they're all good. But the butter pecan and the lemon are. It's like a lemon delicious. crunch or something. Is what it was called. Yes. Yeah. And it's got crunch. It's yeah. Delicious. Yeah, they're all good. Mm -hmm. The kids had moose tracks. Chasen had that lemon crunch, and he really liked it. We're just enjoying our ice cream with this view. You're done? What did you, you had the moose tracks? Did you like it? Okay. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. You gotta hold still for me to grab it. I'll gladly eat that. <laughs> Sorry, there's a Reese's. You're not gonna save one for me? There's a Reese's staring in my face. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I didn't get a bite of the moose tracks. I will. I haven't either. I will get it next time. Stop. <laughs> One of the ladies inside makes these breads. And so anyway, we got a raisin walnut bread. It's only three bucks. So I don't think that's too bad. And that is going to go really good with coffee tonight. That's what was in my head. And yep. put in the microwave. Oh, we can't use the microwave. Well, we'll turn, turn the, the generator, generator on. Okay. <laughs> and then warm it up and put butter on it. We love boondocking, but we've realized there are some things we are accustomed to, like using the microwave, that isn't available to us. But we made it work. Listen to what happened last night, though. Michael rent it. He rent it, didn't you? Well, how do I rent it? So last night we're like, oh, oh yeah, we, we don't need a generator for no date night and put the kids in bed. And I had the best salsa you've ever had in your life. It's it like was good. It's like orange pineapple salsa. It's good. And these really good tortilla chips with a little hint of lime and drinks. I mean, we had it all set up. It's so good. And we had a, had a movie play on the big screen iPhone. Whatever iPhone thought. Yeah, I'll show you a clip of that. <laughs> and um, Michael reached up to get a drink and poured my whole aloe vera plant into our chip bag, salsa, everything. Over. In my defense, I don't think the aloe vera plant should have been there to begin with. Well, it needs to be my son. Well, we have a kitchen window well, where it can't. Because if plants. I guarantee you, if I didn't knock it over, the it kids the kids would have knocked it, it over. Cute. But the fact is, Michael knocked it over. I knocked it over. <laughs> but we still had a date night with Seth, and I still think he's like the hottest thing ever. But we did ruin an entire bag of chips. No, there's no we involved in that part. I, I ruined an entire bag of chips. <laughs> hey, tell them what Virginia is about lovers. Virginia is for lovers. Okay, kids. Yes, I was going to say something about that, but now there's cars everywhere. Come here, Chasen.